All right, so today we're gonna test the uh, to see if uh, polyfill actually lowers the tuning frequency of this box. What kind of speakers in there? It's a ballpoint 12 inch. You know why I had to say it? Because I'm 50 years old and I still can pronounce that word. But anywho, we're gonna use the Dayton Audio DATS V2 audio test system. We already have it hooked up to this here laptop, so give it an impeded sweep there, buddy. Let's see what the box is tuned to without any polyfill. So, it looks like it's tuned to 45 hertz because that's where the dip is on the um, on the sweep there. You have a peak at 25, impedance peak at 25, and impedance peak at 70 hertz. So we're gonna go with, this is actually tuned to 47 hertz. Okay, so now we're gonna unscrew the speaker and what? fill it up with some polyfill and see if it goes from 47 to something lower. So here you go, we put some uh, polyfill stuffing in there. And this is um, the magnet. Oh, look at the magnet on this block pump. What is that, the GBW120. All right, so let's put it back together and see if it changes anything. So we got it all hooked back in. Don't touch the woofer when you do the impedance sweep because that'll change the entire test. So just a <laughs> reminder, it was tuned to 47 before. And now it's tuned. And now it went down to exactly 40 hertz. So it dropped seven hertz on the tuning frequency. Do the test again, just to, for quality control. Impedance sweep, and there you go. And it's exactly the same. The tuning frequency went from 47 to 40. So I guess it does work on a ported box. So now let's just hook up this little Kenwood amp over here. And it was see blown it before, but it wasn't really blown. This, if you have a blown amp, sometimes it's sl the thing slid out and it stops working. Yeah, it was just one of those ribbon cables that just came out. And I was about to throw it in the garbage. And we just took it apart, put the rib ribbon cable back in, and it worked. All right, so hook it back up and let's play something, see if it sounds any better. So it actually sounds quite a bit deeper with just a seven hertz yeah. difference in tuning. And we're using this little Kenwood with a little hot glue fan on there. It's with on this. Bridge. Oh, it's on the bridge. Just, you just have to do the plus green and minus the Drawing only about two amps. This is louder than those. You can turn up a little bit more. But then it's going to. That's it. Lower 